here we go. Mary Emily Husband. Okay, um, so let's start with color. Uh, overall, we have warm colors with areas of cool. Okay, here this is cool. Here this is cool. Okay, and we have warm with a sort of like a dark slate gray, which is kind of cool here. Warm versus cool. Um, texture wise, well, we have enough, enough texture to make this genre scene function as a realistic uh, happening. Okay, it needs to ring true to the viewer. So it cannot be funky. So the, the, the texture is there to make us believe that it's true. Um, different things we have, the, the soft shawl here of the woman, you know, the soft shawl, we can see it here. Um, different little uh, uh, effects, such as the, the little crinkle paper here, the teared paper, um, the shininess, uh, smooth shininess of the of the chair uh, that echoes also the shininess of the wrought, wrought iron here, the dull, cold uh, ground. So we have different uh, textures here. All right. So in terms of proportion and and scale, oops, sorry. In terms of proportion and scale, um, well, it functions same as a texture. Uh, everything is right. Uh, everything is in proportion. Everything is realistic so that we believe uh, the narrative that's happening there. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, however, there's two things that I'm thinking about is that we have adult people here, mostly adult males, okay? But we have a diminutive little guy here. He's a boy, okay? And we have another boy. So this different of scale between the women that accompany them and this little boy, I think is highly significant because they are not men yet, but they are men to be. They will grow up as men. And that kind of posits uh, a question uh, uh, what will happen in the future? How will I behave? Okay, unity. How is unity achieved? It's achieved through the color versus the warm versus the cool, but also it's achieved through uh, the usage of, of the shapes, uh, a pattern. We have a lot of uh, squares and rectangles here, here, there, here found on the floor. Okay, that is achieved through the color, through the usage of shapes, um, and the unity is also achieved through the balance as well. Now, balance is achieved through several central axes. If we don't count these two, we have uh, not central, but several axes, vertical axes. We have one axis here, we have another axis here, we have another axis here. You could say we have another one here. Okay, so this is how the balance is achieved and where the human drama happens is a pyramidal shape here that is pretty uh, stable. Okay, uh, pattern, repetition, rhythm, we don't really have rhythm. Uh, sure, we have repetition of color, sure, we have patterns here in the, in, in the floor uh, and here in her plaid shawl that kind of recalls the pattern here okay uh emphasis and focal point the high point of contrast is towards the middle okay it's towards the middle and it's essentially the faces okay but at the same time what happens okay is that because we're looking at her face and because it's like the highest point of contrast right here uh that makes us wonder why is she sad and we start looking scanning out the scene looking at him looking at little boy and then bouncing back off of these guys so this is kind of like the secondary uh, uh um, you know focal point emphasis um what else i'm looking at my notes here da -da -da -da. And so basically, it makes us look at the interaction. Mm -hmm. Also, um, there is an also high point of contrast that's here that makes us look at the ballerina. And that's it's here and it makes us look at the voyeur. This is kind of like a voyeuristic scene, if you will. All right. Movement. Um, it's more frozen. It's more frozen. It's more like an immortalized. Uh, situation by uh, Marie-Emilie Osborne, 
Um, immortalized in the sense that it's frozen. It's, it's frozen in time. It's, it's a moment. And she, they're showing us the moment where this woman is, is, is mortified. She's mortified about what's happening. She's mortified having to, to sell this art in some ways. Uh, and, and there is a sense of embarrassment. And her nervosity here is, is shown in her hand. She's kind of like fidgeting here. All right. So I hope that helps you guys. And that's it. Take care.